Hey everybody, it's Mike, AKA That Reseller Guy. Today's Monday, so it's time to go through our weekend pickups. Uh, let you know what I got out at uh, garage sales, estate sales, uh, Goodwill, Savers, wherever I picked up stuff this weekend. Actually, I hit some stuff at an auction as well, so all this stuff is gonna go on eBay. I think there's a couple items that might hit Amazon, but I'm, I'm thinking uh, eBay for all this stuff. So let's start over here on the side. First thing I got, is this really cool Jack and Coke sign. Now this is one that would be hanging in a bar or liquor store or something like that. It is metal and it's uh, it's kind of cool. I think I paid $4 for this. There's a couple similar ones on eBay. There was one that was brand new that sold for a hundred and something, but I'm guessing I'm gonna get 30 to $40 for this. It isn't gonna be too hard to ship. I'm gonna need a, a long flat box, probably just hit priority mail just because of the size next item this one is cool if it was goofy it would be kept in our house but it's Mickey Mouse this is uh, called Mickey salutes America I'm trying to get it without the glare here for you it is framed it's just got plexiglass not actual glass so it'll be easier to ship there's a few out there, um, a couple have sold, but I'm guessing this is gonna be a 40 to $50 sale. I think I picked it up for five bucks. All right, here's my one Amazon item. I already have it listed. I already have it all boxed up, shrink wrapped, everything like that. Check to make sure it was complete. This is Super Mastermind. This and the regular Mastermind, I pick them up every time I see them. I have a bunch of extra parts in case they're missing a few pegs. If you've ever played the game, you know that there's couple hundred pegs in this game to play it. Uh, this one here sells for 25 to 35, just depending on the quality of the box. This one is, is a pretty beat up box. You can see it's dented, everything else. It actually has a touch of water damage, but I still listed it at $25 and it'll sell. I've probably sold 30 masterminds and super masterminds over the last few years. No reason to go cheaper. $25 is where you start, go up from there. Here's something that I rarely buy, plates. The only reason I bought them is because these are new with tags, Lennox plates. There's only three of them, this one little set, you got a little butter dish, a salad plate, and then a dinner plate. So each one's a different size, but they're all the exact same style. All brand new, paid $2 a piece, so I got $6 into it. Um, there are some comps out there, but they're all single plates and I think they're all used. These are the only ones that are out there that are new. I list, just listed them this morning. I listed them at $50 ship. So after shipping, shipping is probably, you know, I'm gonna have to protect these pretty good, make sure they don't break, but I'll still make 20, 25 bucks easy on this deal. All right, right here, let's check these little guys out. These are all beta Star Trek movies. I rarely see betas out here, but I had to pick these up. They're all in one little bag, $1.99 for all four, so 50 cents each. Uh, the comps out there show these sell for five to $10 a piece. I'm just gonna lot it up, one group, although I, it looks like there is a duplicate and I didn't realize that I had two search for Spock. So I will put these, actually I will do two different versions because this is the same Star Trek movie. Again, didn't realize it, so I'll do Star Trek Search for Spock and a Star Trek and a Search for Spock together. Two of them, probably $15 for the pair. So I'll get $30. Again, not a huge profit. They'll ship media mail, so it'll be cheap. Still make 15, 20 bucks. All right. Xena, Warrior Princess. Box set, complete. This was $15. I got enough stuff together, so I used the coupon, save 20%. Comps are kind of all over on these, but they start at about $75. There are some that show sold for 100, maybe even a little more. I, I don't know why, because there's a lot of them available in the $75, $80 range. So I priced it competitively. I priced mine in that $75 range, just listed this morning. 15 to 75, it'll ship media mail. Nice $50 profit on this. Can opener, it's new. This isn't like the greatest model, but it's it's different because it's like an extra tall one. It is new, has a little scuff here, which I dis disclosed in my listing. I picked it up for $4. I listed it for 40. So after shipping, I'll net 20. 
Let's go over here to the chair. This is something I don't know a whole lot about, but for the price, I figured it was worth it. Slack line. This is the adjuster, the ratchet. And this is the big Gibbon slack line. Looks like it's in really nice condition. Uh, no problems here. I paid $6. Most slack lines used, I've seen in the when I was doing the, my checking on it, we were like 30 to 60, so I'm hoping it's gonna at least bring 40 to 50 bucks. If I only get 30, well then I'll, I'll still make a little bit, but it won't be the biggest, biggest buy I've ever had. And then this one, Sony, uh, holding it upside down, goes under the counter. We got the screws and everything to get it mounted. That's probably the most important thing other than the remote, which, I don't have the remote. So this first, because you can't mount it without those, you can still use it without the remote. Comps are 35 to 50 without the remote, 50 probably to 70, depending on condition and if you have the remote and the instructions. If you have the box, probably even a little more, but paid $7, tested it in the store, seemed to work good. So $7 into hopefully 40. Yeah, 20 bucks profit. That's what I'll net. All right, you can't see them, but I got all these. It, I always look at the sports items. Uh, these were in a hanging bag in the sports section. I didn't know what the heck they were. I just saw a bunch of different colored baseball looking things. I picked up the bag and these are heavy. These are really heavy balls. This one alone is an 11 ounce baseball. These are made by Driveline. I looked them up. So you got three baseballs that are all different weights, different colors. This one's a nine ounce. This one's light. This is lighter than a regular baseball. It's only three ounces. And then you got these little ones. This is 225 grams, a little lighter. And then the lightest one is 100 grams. So these are used by, I guess, baseball players to, to, for arm strength, accuracy, stuff like that. Sets go for 25 to 35, just depending. I have seen just this ball alone sell for 15 to 20. So I think I might lot these three together because they're the heavier ones, and then these three separate. I think I'll get a little more that way. I'm guessing I'm, I can get $40 if I separate the two. So for, I think it was a $2.99 bag, I think that's a pretty good profit. All right, a couple items left with, with the big one right there. This is my favorite purchase of the weekend. That was the stuff that I bought at the auction. These two items I, I got at thrift stores. Super Bowl XL football. It's got on the back side history. Now, surprisingly, this holds air. Most of the balls that you see at, at thrift stores are flat, and they aren't going to hold air after it. But this one, this one's good. Uh, XL is Super Bowl, uh, what's that, uh, 40. I didn't look up who Super Bowl 40 is, but won't be too hard to figure out into my research. Now, balls that just have a Super Bowl logo sell for less than if they had like the two teams or like just the winning team and say Super Bowl champions. It's still a good ball. I mean, I'm guessing this this is 25 to 35. I might put it in my in my booth at the antique shop uh, and just put out like for, for $20. That way I don't have to worry about pictures, listing and all that stuff. So worst case, uh, you know, I get 20 bucks for it. All right, I've had a similar one of these. This is the Avenging Narwhal set. The last one I sold was the, I think it's Avenging Unicorn. Very similar, it was just a unicorn impaling little animals now. These are made by accoutrements and I've probably sold three or four of these through the years. I don't find them too often. They're pretty rare. I mean, go look on eBay right now, do search for Avenging Narwhal and I think there's one or two listed and four or five sold. The solds are, I think, $50 to $70. Yes, $50 to $70 for this. It's ridiculous. And just listen, actually, I didn't even pick this up at a thrift store. I picked this up at a second-hand store. Uh, it's called Bookman's. They're a buy-sell store. There's the barcode if you want to check it out and scan it. Do whatever you want to do. But yeah, this is going to get me at least $50. The box is a little beat up. It's got a couple little nicks. You see the corners. So I'm not selling it as new. Selling it as used or new other one, one way. So yeah, 50 to $60. I paid 14. It's still a good profit. I will always pick these up. It's, it's the stupidest little toy that sells good. 
All right, last item in, in my favorite one of, of the week. Uh, this is stuff that I bought at a local auction house. It, uh, two big boxes of comic books. Both of them were all vintage, uh, probably from the 60s and 70s. A few 80s trickled in. Now, I did have to pay up a little bit for it because I really wanted these. I, I didn't want to let somebody else get the goods now. The condition on these isn't great. They're all probably poor to fair with maybe some VG mixed in. But just so you can see, here's what we're starting with. We're starting with a 20 cent comic. It's number 197, Superboy Legion of Superheroes. Now, this is how many Legion of Superheroes from that era there are. It starts at number 197, and we actually run through number 283. It's not complete, but there's some gaps in there. I mean, you see here's 40 cent comics. You see at one point they switched 30 cent comics. I'm gonna have to look for any key issues. I don't know if there's any in here that have special appearances by somebody or a first appearance, but just when you're getting back into the this era comics, the condition is gonna not be great because you know, most people read these, didn't store them like today's comics, but actually this one, this one's pretty nice. I mean, there's nothing terrible about it, but you get back in here and there's a few that are a little beat up. And actually maybe one of the other stacks are worse. I'm gonna call most of these probably VG, definitely reader copies. Nothing that you're gonna send off to be graded. It looks like there's four, I don't know, 40, 50 in this stack. Uh, even if I only got a dollar comic selling in his lot, that's, you know, 50 bucks. I paid 80 for the lot, so we'll say I'm going to get 50. I'm hoping for 70 or 80. Next, this title isn't as good, but what's nice about it is, turn it around. It says The Eternals starts at issue number one. Uh, these were 25 cent comics back then and then quickly switched to 30 cent comics. So this is a pretty good run. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do I have a complete run? I didn't look at, look at it all. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then a king size annual. So I got numbers one through 19. So that's a nice run. I don't know if that's the complete. I don't know how many Eternals are out there. Again, I'll, I'll do some research before I get these listed. Again, these are all pretty nice condition. These are what I'm going to call VG. You know, you're going to have a few spy increases, a few little corner bends, stuff like that. But again, the worst case is I get a dollar a book. There's another $20. All right. But this last stack is the best. It's, and it's the biggest. But it's also condition-wise the worst. These are adventure comics featuring Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes. These are old. This is a 12 cent comic. And this is number 326. Now these first three on the top are actually terrible condition. That's why I put them up here on the top because they're so bad. These are actually all missing the back covers. So these, I'm just actually gonna list at the end of my auction and just say I'm adding in these free because they don't have the cover. I'm not really even counting these. These are poor, poor. But the first issue is number 327. Again, it's a 12 cent comic. And you can see we got bands, we got spine wear. Um, there may even be a loose cover or two in here. But again, I got this many. If you look up these comics and look for the, the solds, an individual one in poor, they're gonna bring a dollar to three dollars in poor condition. Once we get through here, some of them are getting a little better. These are actually all 12 cent comics. So I mean, they're all old. If I had my glasses on, I'd read and tell you what year they are. Maybe I can see 1960, 69, 60, something like that. So these are 1960s comics. When we start getting some of these, again, we're gonna start hitting some fair, maybe some VG ones here, but I like this lot. Again, if I can get two to three dollars per comic in this lot, I don't know if I'll get that much. But I'll shoot for 80 to 100 on this stack. I'm hoping I can get that. Um, and this is only the, the, the cream of the crop from that comic lot. 
I probably have another 50 or more, again, all different vintage stuff, 12 cent comics, but nothing that's a nice run like this. Uh, superheroes, some Batman, a couple old Spider-Man, some Iron Man, stuff like that. It's, it's, it's good stuff. So even though the condition's not there, it's good quality product, so that, that'll help it sell. All right, that's all I got for today. I gotta get busy, do some imaging, uh, get some pictures done, get some listings out there. I got four or five done this morning. All the stuff you'll see here will be up. A couple items are already in my store. The others are be in there in a week or two. So check me out on eBay, that reseller guy. And if you like the video, you wanna see more, see what I got, I'm gonna do some items that I sold. Uh, probably do like the last 10 to 20 items that I sold so you can see what's been selling for me on eBay. And down at the bottom, hit that like button. Help me out a little bit, hit subscribe. Um, I'm trying to get this channel started. I think I got some good ideas, some good help for you out there. All right. Thanks for watching. Mike, that reseller guy. Peace. See you.